Hey everyone, welcome to another Thursday Learn Day, and we're gonna talk about Bolt and the new integrated ambient light sensor. To play this game, you're gonna need two teams, multiple bolts, two goals, and some flashlights to move Bolt around the floor. It will sit and spin while there is no change in light, and the minute the flashlight is recognized, Bolt will begin to move in the last direction that it was facing. And the goal is to chase Bolt into your opponent's goal to score a point. Team with the most points at the end of the game wins. One thing to keep in mind is while playing the game, if Bolt sits inactive for more than 15 seconds, the program terminates and that Bolt is out of the game. Go, go! Wait, this one's... Move your foot! No, no, no. You can't hit it! Move, Danny, move! No. Let's send that one off to Binary Bill so we can show you how Hackable hack. <laughs> Let's send it off to Binary Bill now uh, to see how Hackable Hockey is programmed. Okay, so Sphero Bolt, we've got a light sensor on the front of the robot. It's that little gold box. And it takes lux values, basically luminosity or brightness from a room. We've written some conditions around it. So if it's just the normal ambient light, the robot's gonna just sit there and spin. Notice the robot's just sitting there spinning. And then when a team comes up, like the ketchup team, and points his light at the light sensor, it'll reach a condition of a higher lux value, and then send the robot off spinning towards your goal, hopefully. If Mustard wants his team to go that way, he'd point his flashlight at the back of the robot, and there he goes! But make sure you don't leave any robots untouched. They're gonna expire in seven to eight seconds if you don't have them reach the light condition to move them. So move quickly! This program has three pretty simple conditions. Let's take a look at them. You'll notice in the last else condition, the robot's just sitting there, spinning around, waiting for you to shine your light at it. Come on! Get it in there, ketchup team! Get it in there! So it's just gonna sit there and spin and actually keep incrementing the no light variable. And if you have it there for 15 loops, you'll get into this condition here, where when no light equals 15, pseudo robot hockey puck is going to expire. So you have to act fast. And the third condition is at the top, where if the luminosity is above 200 lux, then your robot's gonna move in the direction of the last heading it was pointed at. Now, you may have to adjust this luminosity level. We've set it to 200, which is good for sort of a normal ambient environment, but it might need to go up or down if you have a bright or dim room compared to the brightness of your flashlight. But we'll leave that for you to figure out when you play hackable hockey. But like any good hockey match, it's up to the players on the ice and their grit to see who wins. Now get out there! Thanks for joining us this Thursday for another Thursday Learn Day and playing Hackable Hockey with us. You can find it and other Bolt Thursday Learn Days in the Sphero EDU app, and we'll see you next week.